Hi there. I had the privilege of hanging out in Mr. Steyer's room yesterday and wanted to share with you just what he did with a math menu relating to multiplication. So let's just kind of talk about where this all started. Um, a while back during a cadre meeting, um, we actually spent some time talking about math menus. Um, it's just one way to um, engage students in learning about a specific concept area. So Mr. Steyer basically started with the data. So beginning, students engaged in many learning experiences, activities, assignments relating to multiplying and dividing multi-digit numbers. So students had done many activities relating to this idea. Then Mr. Steyer gave an assessment on this topic and he took a close look once those assessments were completed to see what students knew and what they were struggling with. He then had a menu that he developed that provided choices in which students engaged in these during menu time. These were based on what they were struggling with so that they could improve their skills. Students would also then be able to make corrections to their test after purposeful practice and help from Mr. Steyer and their classmates during the menu time. So basically he gave this assessment, checked to see which problems, recorded which ones they were struggling with, and the menu activities that they engaged in were related to these specific areas. So let's take a look at what his menu looked like. Um, menus can come in many different forms and be used for different purposes. So keep in mind that this is one example. You can adjust, simplify. Um, some people use this during the learning. Some people use this um, after students have engaged in a concept for a while. So where you place a menu activity um, is just kind of one option, if you will, for smaller group work. Um, so here you can see how he set up the menu. This is the student version and this is the teacher version just kind of correlating the items on the assessment with the sp specific um, activities and you can see that there's hors d'oeuvres, entree, and a little extra special confectionery. So here you can see this is a specific student's um, menu activity and so he highlighted which of the activities he wanted them engaging in during the menu time. So let's take a look at what kids were doing. Um, here you can see um, students are actually working on what's called target number dash. This is from the K5 math teaching resources one of the activities listed on the planning guide for fifth grade and you can see students are recording their information right within their math journals while they um, engage in this. And it was very interesting how engaged students were in this target number dash and oftentimes the perseverance that they were putting forth. Number explosion, this activity um, relating to multiplication division um, was actually from the grab and go from our Go Math. It's that red pack of activities. So they had to arrange, draw tiles and arrange the tiles, I believe, um, I think it was to make the smallest product, um, if I remember correctly. This was a K-5 activity and once again they were drawing tiles and they had to try and produce the largest product. And they were getting a lot of practice with multiplication um, and it encouraged them to check each other's work because they wanted to get the largest product. Here you can see as kids were working um, on various menu activities at this point Mr. Steyer was actually working with a couple um, girls on a specific topic um, helping them better understand something that they were working on. So even though he wasn't pulling a small group back to the table if you will he was moving about through the room, asking questions, um, working with students. All right, this activity was called a math properties match, and the basic idea was students had been working on several different properties in relationship to multiplication and division, and um, so knowing the importance of properties, this was specifically related to 
the finding the definition and example and the name of the property and matching those and then recording those in their math journals or notebooks. So this activity was from the grab and go a multiplication relay once again something where students were actually collaboratively um, solving this multiplication problem in their groups. Once again really notice they were getting a great deal of practice um, in these specific skills. So hopefully what you noticed is the activities I showed you were coming from resources that we have access to. So whether it was the grab and go, um, this was something I'm not exactly sure where Nate got that from. Um, K5 resources, also listed on our planning guide. Um, so you can see that a menu can be created using some of the pieces within the resources we have along with some of the other tried and true you know resources that you know would be beneficial to kids and related to the standards so some observations I made as I was observing and talking and working with kids during this menu time is during this hour students were engaged in the math really for the most part they were doing the thinking, the working, they were talking to each other about math um, and that was exciting to see that that's how that hour was um, being spent. They liked the structure so I think a big part of any age level including fifth grade is they liked the format and style of the learning and the independence that it gave them. Um, I really um, saw in a majority of the kids very much a growth mindset in which they knew that they were doing this to improve their learning um, and then the ability to improve um, that assessment. They were getting intentional practice and help on skills that they were struggling with. Um, I saw willingness to persevere and to continue working on something that was hard. Um, sometimes the target dash, it took them a little while to find an equation that matched the number. Um, they seemed like they were in it for the learning rather than just getting it done and I think that was huge. So um, hopefully uh, this will just give you a few ideas of what a math menu can look like. Um, once again this is one method, um, one example, but as we all know um, you can change it up, simplify it, um, make it your own. And just a big thank you to Mr. Steyer and for his class for allowing me to observe and watch you in action with the math menus. Thanks.